So, when it comes to smartphone performance, two names always dominate the conversation. Qualcomm's Snapdragon and Apple's A-series chips. And now, we finally have numbers to put the upcoming Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 against Apple's latest A19 Pro. The results might surprise you, because this is one of the closest head-to-head -head battles we've ever seen between Android and iOS silicon. Recently, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 popped up on Geekbench 6.4, paired with what looks like a Xiaomi 17 series device, likely the 17 Pro Max or the standard 17. This prototype had 16 gigabytes of RAM and was running Android 16, giving us a real taste of what next-gen Snapdragon flagships will bring to the table. The benchmark results? A single-core score of 3,705 and a multi-core score of 11,228. To put this into perspective, Apple's brand new A19 Pro, which powers the iPhone 17 Pro lineup, scores 4,019 in single core and 11,054 in multi core. That means, for the first time ever, Qualcomm has matched Apple's raw multi core performance and even nudged slightly ahead. Compared to last year's A18 Pro, the leap in performance is undeniable. Apple Silicon still dominates single core, but the margin is shrinking fast, and that's a big deal. Now, what does this actually mean for users? On Apple's side, the A19 Pro still delivers unmatched single-thread efficiency, which translates into buttery smooth, everyday performance, lightning-fast app launches, and better optimization across iOS. Apple has always leveraged its tight hardware-software integration, and that advantage doesn't disappear just because Snapdragon closed the performance gap. But Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 brings another story to the table. Paired with massive RAM options, advanced AI processing, and Android's flexibility, it's built not just for raw speed, but also for multitasking power. That 11,228 multi-core score means heavier workloads like video editing, gaming, or multitasking with multiple apps will feel just as fast, if not faster, than on the iPhone. And unlike Apple, Qualcomm chips also have to handle a variety of partners, Samsung, Xiaomi, OnePlus, so optimization will play a big role in how consistent that performance feels across devices. Another angle to consider is future-proofing. Apple typically holds its performance advantage for years thanks to iOS updates and efficient design. But this new Snapdragon Leap suggests Android flagships launching later this year won't just compete, they'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Apple on both speed and efficiency. That's huge for Android fans, who've always seen Apple Silicon as the gold standard. In short, Qualcomm has closed the gap. Apple isn't running unchallenged anymore, and for smartphone users, that means the competition just got a lot more exciting. So what do you guys think about both the processors? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video.